Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Christine. If you are new to this channel, I am a part-time reseller and I like to buy things on the cheap and resell them to make a profit. That is that is how I earn my living. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 items that I bought. Um, I did record some of my shopping. Now this was from two different Goodwills, so I did not record at the second one, but I do have a little bit of um, recording that Paul is going to put in there as an overlay so that you can see me pull it off the shelf as I talk about it. So I hope you enjoy. Now let's get cracking. This little guy was so cute. Um, it says $2.49. I had a 20% off coupon, so I got him for $1.99. He was super cute. Um, the previous sticker had been torn off, so I can't tell what that actually said. Um, if you guys know, go ahead and if you can, just let me know in the comments below. But it does have a Made in China sticker. And there it is here. And I mean, overall, it looks like in good condition. Uh, it does have some crazing, which is the cracks in the glaze. There was, there it is. So there is one right here, and then there's one right over the eye right here. But I'm not going to be selling this one. Um, I did try looking up comps, and I thought he was actually something else, and he wasn't. Um, the one I thought he was, uh, the eyes are closed. They look like they're sleeping. So I'm not sure what this brand is from, but he's definitely going to be one that I'm going to keep. Um, I love these um, type of planters, and so I actually have a little plant here. Let me see. Here it is here. I'm going to put it in there, and I'll pop a picture up for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sticker off. So my little heat gun. There we go. All right, easy peasy. This guy is so cool. Um, I saw him on the shelf and I was like, all right, that is awesome. He's a moose. Uh, he looks like a gravy boat. Um, I suspect he might have had a lid at one time, but if it's a gravy boat, probably not. Uh, I don't see any crazing or chips. There is no brand on there. I thought he might be one of those um, take and paint later items, but the way they have it glazed here on the bottom and it's not glazed here, I think it was just this was bought this way. I tried doing comps and I could not find any comps on this guy. There were a lot of moose, but not this one. So let me see if I can, okay. So he is pretty grimy. Um, whoever the previous owner was, uh, they must've kept it in their kitchen or something displayed because it's got, it's got some nasty grease on here. I've already tried wiping it off with a wipe, but I think I'm going to need to get um, one of my microfiber towels to get this really all this grease off of here but he is so cool um let me see how long he is let me see he is yeah wow he's about 10 inches yeah about 10 inches in length let's see how and Almost seven, about six and a half tall. And then if you really want to know how wide he is, let's see, what is the widest point? Okay, so about four inches. Not too bad. 
very cool. Um, definitely going to be selling him. I don't know what how much I'm going to sell him for right now. Um, but he is definitely really neat. He's almost like a cartoon character. This is so cool. This is an item I have never, I have never come across this at a thrift store. Um, this is a Catholic wall rosary. It is a life-size rosary. A lot of times these would be hung up above someone's bed and they are made out of wood. It, it does have some dings on it and that is very common um, with these. It is wood. Uh, based on the style, I would say that this is probably 1960s, 1970s. Um, I am just, I was very, very surprised seeing this at the thrift store because these are something that usually stays within the family. Um, and when somebody passes away, they usually get passed down to somebody. So I was very surprised to see this at the store. Um, I just found it kind of strange because I just received one of these, um, from a dear friend of mine, his father gave it to me, um, just a couple days ago. So, and, but mine has a crucifix on it and these are, um, made in Italy. So I'm still kind of taken aback that I found this at a thrift store. Um, now this did not have a price tag on it when I found it on the shelf. So I, every time I go to the checkout, they always, almost always give me this, astronomical price for it. And I'm just like, really, <laughs> you really just want me to put it back. But the cashier, she, um, she took one look at it and she was like, you know what, I'm going to give you a good deal. And she did, she gave me a great deal on it and I couldn't pass it up. So I went ahead and I purchased this item and I'm going to go ahead and get this one listed. Um, it, it will be a little difficult to show a picture. Um, because it is so big. <laughs> so I'll do the measurements for it. Uh, but I think um, these are going for around uh, $25 to $40. They don't go for a whole lot, which surprises me. But um, I will go ahead and list this one for about $40 and uh, with best offer. So yeah, I got, I'm still taken aback that I found this at a thrift store. But it is really nice. I saw this guy as soon as I came through the door. Oh my goodness. Uh, he is so regal looking. I love this. He is a, sounds hollow, so hollow ceramic bust with a gold crown. I love this piece. I love it. Uh, he, they, surprisingly, they had him priced at three and a half bucks. So after the coupon, he is a little less than three. Um, I wish I had the video for this one at this store, but I don't. He, after doing research, um, I found that he's actually part of the Holiday Lane collection for Macy's. And there are only three comps. There are ones for 20, 30, and 60. Now the shipping on this is, um, they were all three about the same. It is going to be a little high because of the um, size and the weight because once you pack this with enough material to protect it from being broken, it this will probably cost about $18 to $20 to ship it. And he is fantastic. Uh, according to Macy's website, uh, he is no longer available, but they did have the measurements and the just in the description. He is eight and a half inches tall. So I'm going to go ahead and sell him. I'm definitely going to get some pretty good profit from this one. So I'm really excited. Um, I, I kind of want to keep him though. Ooh, kind of want to keep him, but I can't keep everything. So he's amazing. Um, definitely somebody's going to enjoy him. This was such a great find. This is a mirror and brush vanity or dresser set. It's not complete. Uh, these were known to come with a comb, um, a tray, just a bunch of different things, even perfume bottles and a bunch of little extras. It really depends on if you bought the deluxe size or just the basic. Now this is 
originally it had a gold tone color over it and it is over brass and you can kind of see it uh, here it has worn off so now you just see the brass color and I don't know what this I don't know if this streaking here is original um, I want to say no it's probably not it might have had some water damage it's a little weird because it's kind of iridescent so I think though that might just be this plastic cover that's covering it now I was I didn't realize it until I got home um, I was just so excited finding this at the store that when I got home um, there is like a transfer over here and the Goodwill employees went and put tape over it. So because they did that, I don't know if I can get this tape off without taking those flowers off. And this is plastic, so I don't know if I can use a heat gun either. So I'm going to see if I can try and take this apart. Let's see. These were so great. I'm going to have to get that cleaned. And I think if you pop this, you can take, yeah. So you can actually change these out. This is a, I think it's some kind of either lucite or acrylic something. Um, I'm really surprised it hasn't discolored though. So this is how they used to be able to change out the, the brush, uh, the bristles. And it just pops back in. That is so great. Isn't that great? Oh, I wish they had stuff like that nowadays. We really don't have things like this anymore. Very beautiful. Oh, I love the pink on there. It is such a cute color. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that was a little bit nerve wracking. So I don't know what this streaking is from. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I want to say it's not. I wonder if that's from water. Uh, I don't know if I can change that either. Um, I probably not. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now, the mirror is in good condition. Uh, I don't see any cracks or chips or anything like that. Uh, both of them, the handles, do have the wear. They, oh, see, now you can see the gold on this one much better. So the whoever, they must have used the mirror more often. But yeah, so I'll see if I can get these cleaned up. I found these in the section where they hang everything off the wall on the pegboard. Never go past this. I find some awesome stuff in there. This was hanging behind a bunch of gift bags and it was $3.49. Um, it looks like it's been hanging there a while uh, because of the date I can see and it is it looks like it is one two three four possibly four folders and a pencil um, pouch uh, these definitely look vintage there is a hole in there so I suspect there might have been something else in there and of course somebody must have gone through it already but they still left me some stuff um, Let's see here. So this is mead and yep, it is 1997. So that is actually really cool. And it's got the little paw prints. So it, yeah, it's embroidered. That's actually really nice. That is really nice. Um, there's a lot of people out there that collect the old Garfield stuff. So going to go ahead and check comps on that and see what I can get for that. All right. I think I actually, I think I've had this one before. Let me see here. Oh, these are so cool. Oh man, these are awesome. Yeah. I think I had this one years ago. Wow. So it's got little old comic strips on there. That is really neat. Messy in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> so, so these are great. Okay, loving these. Do any of these have dates on them? I think these are from the 90s. Let's see. That's funny. Ooh, 
wherever I throw it, that's where it belongs. Wow. Okay, so these definitely bring back memories. I'm probably going to lock these up. Um, I did do comps on the folders. They do pretty well if they're in a lot. And I just don't see lotting, uh, you know, creating a listing just for the pencil pouch by itself. So I'm just going to put them all together in a lot of five and we'll see what I can get for them. It's Wicket! Oh my gosh! I saw this and I had to have it. I just had to get it. Oh, I am such a big fan of Warwick Davis. <laughs> when they put him in the uh, movies again, I just like, oh, my eyes were just streaming with tears. I couldn't believe it. My husband, Paul, was just like, really? Really? <laughs> But I can't help it. I am a big fan. Um, so I got this for $1.99. And I did do comps. He sells for about 15 bucks used. And he still has the original tag on this one. So I am a little confused, though, because I'm looking at the tag on the bottom. It says Disney World. and But it says Disney Parks. Does that mean it was sold at all Disney parks or just exclusively at Disney World? Hmm, I don't know. So this is a really soft, it's almost like, what is that, velour? Is that what I want, I'm thinking of? I think that's what I'm thinking of. He is nine inches tall and he's just so cute. Oh my God, look at the little teeth. This is just so cute. Um, so $1.99 to 15 bucks, that's not a bad um, turnaround. Um, I am going to go ahead and list it and then I'm gonna probably just leave him on my desk <laughs> until he sells. He is just so cute. I love it, he's adorable. This is a play a sound book. It is Animaniacs and you know, they are zany to the max. <laughs> I had to get that in there. <clears throat> so you are supposed to be able to push the buttons and it makes a sound. Um, it does not work right now. So I'm gonna see if I can get a battery for this. And, but I, there are a few um, condition issues. So there is a ding here on the spine. And on one of the pages, I did check all the pages. I mean, there's some little bit of fingerprints and stuff. So it's definitely been looked through. Um, a lot of times when I see these, they are so damaged. Um, ripped uh, pages, you know, uh, they're just not in good condition. Or the kid, whoever the previous owner was, really loved it so much that they wore out all the little squares. Um, never pass these up, you know, always check the children's section. These sell for pretty good money. Um, especially I like this one. This is at the Animaniacs. Um, you know, it's a little bit older. Okay, here it is. So it looks like somebody got something, they dripped something on there. So there is a couple of little marks on there and I'll make sure to, you know, disclose that in the listing. Now this one was made in 1996. It looks like 1996 is what it's dated on the back. So this must have came out when the original cartoon came out. Uh, I know it's out again. They updated it. Yeah, it says 1996 right here in the copyright. So let me, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can um, test the batteries and see if this works. And so here are the batteries. I don't want to pull it all the way out because they do pop out. And these are the batteries that I did use for this. It's the LR44 and it does take three. So let's go ahead and test it. Okay guys, I had to move to the other room because these last two items are really big. Uh, you probably saw this one in the beginning of the video. It is, um, I, I guess an urn. Do you call it an urn with a lid? Um, 
serving tray, a tureen. Uh, I'm sure there are multiple names for it. So I did, when I first looked at it, I thought it was dented in um, by accident and it's not. That's actually part of the design. You can see it here, 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 and here as well. And this thing is just so big. It is so cool. I thought it was really neat. I had to have it. Now I did have a 20% um, off coupon, so I only got it for $15 and some change, but it was really neat. I love the designs on the side. Um, I think I think they're elephants. It is really neat. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it does have some patina on it. That's okay. Some people like patina. Um, let's see, it is made by decorated crafts. Um, it is made in Indi India, um, but it is really cool. I'm going to get this listed. I am not going to clean this. Uh, if you have sold brass before, uh, if you shine it just for the pictures, by the time it sells, it's going to be back to this again. So <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I just leave it this way and I do not shine it. I just leave that up to the buyer because everybody has their own method of cleaning and what products they like to use. So this is in great condition. I'm going to go ahead and get this one listed. Okay, this one is so big. It, I can't even fit it all in the screen here. It is just so tall. Uh, so this one I found, um, if you watched the video, you would have seen there was one laying on its side. It did not have the lid on there. Um, it was actually the lid I think was um, on another shelf and the horn was broken. But the one that you saw in the video had all kinds of chips. It was cracked. It was broken. But when I went around to the other aisle, this one was there. So I snapped it up. Uh, it was the perfect price. It was fantastic price. It was a great deal. Could not leave it behind. And now I did do research and I only saw one other one online. Um, so, and it was a different color. So it tells me this is probably a DIY, one of those take and paint um, at home items, but it was just really neat. Uh, I liked it. Now the lid, it, it, this is the lid. Now, no, that's not a crack. That is from the mold. Um, if you, I, I shop, I buy these ceramic unpainted stuff from a mom and pop store and that is just the seam and it looks like they just tried to cover it up on the inside, but isn't that so neat? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Anyway, it just sits up on top of there. Um, there's no lip or anything, but I don't think you're going to buy this, you know, intending to actually use. You're probably just going to display it and you can put the lid on there and, and nobody's going to know the wiser, right? So this is really neat. It's got a great scenery on there, Vikings, and it's got what is that, a dragon head on there with the claw on the bottom. Isn't that so cool? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then on the other back side, you have the Viking ship. That is so cool. I love how whoever painted this recently uh, did a great job. They also put felt on the bottom. Now, if you purchase this, uh, I, because I believe, you know, it is a DIY, you could probably just repaint it if you want. Look at that, it is so cool. They glazed the inside as well. So this one is pretty neat. Uh, just the mug or the stein is about 14 inches. So I'm sure if you, let's see here. Oops. So if you, it's about three and a half additional inches on there so that you can add to that. Really neat, really cool. Definitely someone's gonna enjoy this. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on the like button for us. If you would like to receive notifications every time we upload a new video, then click on the subscribe and notification bell on your way out. Thanks for watching.